So last week I was invited to a private event to tour one of the newest and most expensive buildings in downtown Portland. It opens its doors of business just a few weeks ago and construction on many of the floors is still ongoing. But what makes this building unique is that it's a mix of office space, commercial, very high-end residential and also contains Portland's newest and most luxurious hotel. Now the building's official name is Block 216, but those of you who have some familiarity with downtown Portland will likely refer it to by a different name, which is the largest tenant of the building. So please join me as we explore Block 216, otherwise known as the Ritz-Carlton Hotel and Residences. So Block 216 is the largest and most expensive building in Portland's Central Business District in several decades and has an estimated cost of around $600 to $700 million. The building is located in the heart of the downtown, surrounded by great restaurants and just three blocks from Powell's City of Books. The striking 35-storey glass tower is the fourth largest building in the city. Floors 21 through 35 contain the private residences and I was able to tour several units on the 24th floor. Now these are the show units, you'll see they have a variety of different furniture packages and finishes, but one thing that they all have in common is the spectacular views. Now floors 21 through 33 all have identical layouts with 10 residences per floor and the residences range in size. The smallest units are one bedroom, one and a half bathrooms and around 1200 square feet in size. There are also several larger two and three bedroom units available that I was able to tour during my time at the property. And as you would expect, the finishes throughout are incredibly high end and all the units have their own private balcony which has been thoughtfully designed and protected from the wind. Now what makes these residences really special is there just isn't anything else available like this across the Pacific Northwest. The quality of the finishes, the incredible views and the amenities which I'll cover later in this video make this building incredibly unique. Now floors 32 through 35 are the penthouse suites and range from 4 units to 6 units per floor with the largest unit coming close to 4,000 square feet. So in terms of price, what can you expect to pay to purchase one of these stunning residences? Well of course there are several factors that impact price. Size of the unit, which floor you want to be on, and the direction that you're facing. But prices start around one and a half million dollars for the smaller units and that can go around two and a half to three million dollars for the three bedroom units. Now the penthouse suites are obviously a lot bigger and more expensive. You would need to budget around five and a half to seven million dollars if you're looking for one of the most expensive residences in the building. Now there are plenty of owner's amenities in the building. On the eighth floor is an exclusive owner's lounge and outdoor terrace and this is only accessible to residents of the building. Now when I tour this in mid-November you'll see it is still under construction although it's nearly completed. 
It's a great space to meet other residents and enjoy the exclusive larger outdoor terrace and barbecue. Now, floors 8 through 18 is the Ritz Carlton Hotel Rooms. So on the 19th floor, there are some shared facilities between guests and residences. And this includes the spa, pool and fitness center. On the 20th floor is the Bell Pine restaurant, which my wife and I were able to make a reservation at a few weeks ago. The views and the food were spectacular and the desserts are a piece of art. The dessert that we enjoyed was called Forest. The mushroom that you can actually see was made out of chocolate ganache. Now the restaurant is of course open to the general public and it's something that I recommend all Portland residents try at least once. The first floor contains the hotel reception. There's also a separate and private entrance and lobby for residences. And there's also the hotel lobby bar. Flock, which is currently unfinished, will be a modern food hall. And this ties back to the previous occupant of this site, which is the Alder Street food cart pod, which at one time contained approximately 60 food carts. So at the time of filming this, approximately 20% of the residences have been sold and it will likely take well into 2024 to sell the remaining units. Now, if you'd like to know more about this building, please do reach out. I am a licensed real estate broker based out of Portland, Oregon, and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Until next time, thanks for watching.